Hey, if you're enjoying our content, please take a moment now and subscribe and like. Okay, so if your bike does not have a voltmeter, which mostly all of the emos do, I'm gonna show you how to check the voltage on your bike. Um, so you get your meter and you want to set it to that. That's DC what? DC voltage. DC voltage. It's a straight line instead of a wavy line. I can, if you can, okay. Oh, this is having trouble focusing, there we go. So the first one. There we go, where is, it's pointed. Uh, right above off is a wavy line. That's uh, AC, that's your house voltage. One above that right there. Okay, keep it simple, right? DC, yeah. The one. <laughs> DC, <laughs> straight lines. Okay, so a great way to check without having to take all the batteries out of the bike is your charging port. So you want to, it doesn't actually matter which one is where, because it'll either read a negative or a positive, but either way it tells you what the voltage is. And so I'm reading that. See that how it's, at? oh, let me get that there. I had it. So 60, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta keep the flap open there. There. No. There, oh, there we go. go. Yeah, so 82.3. Okay, so. 82.3, this is a 72 volt. If this was fully charged, it would show it 84. That's what we're looking for when we want you to test your batteries is that's the easy way. Now, if you have a battery like this over here and you actually have your batteries out, you can test them individually. So again, we'll put that there. This is 13, that's excellent. Now this doesn't tell your amp hour, so the gas tank that you have in there, but it tells you a general health of them because if you've got one, 12, between 12 and 13 is great. Anything lower than that, you need to replace your batteries. Okay, so we're just going along and that's how you do it there. Again, it doesn't matter which is hitting what because it'll still tell you the voltages. So very simple. This is a key thing to uh, be testing your bike. So. Tips from Jolene with Darren's help.